Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. <clears throat> Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the Ortiz versus Lawson DAZN preview that has taken place this Saturday, um, January 6th, I believe, on uh, on regular DAZN. Um, I, I, again, guys, the, uh, well, and before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support as I continue to build my channel. Guys, the 2023 top 10s are coming. I apologize. I was sick last week, so it really held me back from being able to do any videos. But I just finished the champions reports this morning. Um, they are being posted today. Um, I'm doing my regular videos, and I already have the first division finished. I just need to start posting the videos on the top 10s. But um, I am working through those, so don't worry about it. I'm on it. Um, okay, so back to this fight card this weekend. Um, basically, two to three fights that are are interesting. Um, one fight dropped off Sergey Derevchenko, the 168 pound contender. Um, something happened to him the other day. He had to withdraw from his fight. Um, Arnold Barbosa Jr., the current uh, undefeated and number one ranked contender at 140 pounds. I uh, was supposed to make his debut for Golden Boy on this card. Um, I don't see that he has an opponent for this weekend. So um, I, I just looked his record up and to see if he had an opponent lined up. He does not as, as I'm doing this video. So not too sure if he's still fighting on the car, card or not. If he does, it's probably just going to be a stay busy type opponent ahead of uh, what he hopes to be an eliminator or a title shot later in the year. Um, the co-main event. <clears throat> gonna be a good one. O'Hara Davies um, from from England is battling Ishmael Barroso in a true final eliminator to get uh, get a title shot against Roly Romero uh, later this year. Roly Romero, uh, after his controversial stoppage of Barroso last June, filed for a, a medical exemption um, instead of fighting O'Hara Davies, and he's also been trying to line up a big time showdown with Ryan Garcia and hasn't been able to get that. So um, he uh, he was um, granted that exemption and Davies and Barroso were ordered to fight in a true final eliminator in the process. So uh, they were supposed to fight in December. Uh, I think Davies had uh, visa issues trying to get into the country. So now they are uh, locking up here in the co-feature on this card. And it's going to be a good one. You got Davies, who really has lost a decent competition in his career, but now stepping it up, trying to get a title shot against the hard-hitting veteran, 40 years old, Ishmael Barroso, who really got the raw end of the deal back in June against Roly Romero and wants to get his revenge and a title shot. So um, these two guys should be good. I'm looking forward to seeing it on a Saturday. Um, I, my pick, I think it's close to a 50-50 battle here. Um, I'm going to go with Barroso just because of the way he looked against Romero. But I do think Davies is ready, and it really could go either way. So it should be good. The winner gets a title shot. And then the main event, Virgil Ortiz Jr., undefeated um, contender at 154 now, making his 154-pound debut, fighting for the first time in almost a year and a half when he takes on Frederick Lawson. I think he's going to dominate Frederick Lawson and get him out of there within six rounds bouncing back and, um, you know, starting his year off good and his debut at 154 off good. So we'll see what happens on Saturday. Um, should be a good one, but that's it. I, if Barbosa fights, I think he'll win a stay busy fight. Um, I got Barroso in the co-feature against Davies, but I do think it could go either way. And I got Virgil Ortiz uh, knocking out Frederick Lawson in the main event. That's this Saturday, January 6th on the zone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.